Hey guys, what's up? This is uh, Wolfpack with Wolfpack Games. Um, in the very first installment of Topics, um, I wanted to try something a little different today. Um, but, yeah. And I'm sorry guys, I've had a lot of things going on, especially because of Christmas coming around. I've had to buy a lot of gifts for people and a lot of things like that. But I haven't forgot about my YouTube channel, and I'm still making videos and things that like that. But um, today's topic is online. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that the whole thing of online gaming is a kind of a pro-slash-con situation. Now, let me explain what I mean. It is a good thing because, okay, I, I've moved out about a year ago, and my dad is a gamer just like me. Um, and that's how our best way to keep in touch. So it's great that we can sit there and get online now me and him both have the Xbox one console that is our game system to play online with each other I mean it's great that we get to play online with each other and it helps us keep in touch because I live about an hour away from my dad right now and I don't get to see him every day like I wish I would be able to but this is a great way for us to do something we love and to stay in touch with it stay in touch with each other I'm sorry what I meant is stay in touch with each other and keep you know uh, do something we love and be able to keep in touch with one another and 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 you know anyway I think you get what I'm getting at here but here's the the con situation with online gaming is that Games have taken such a direction in online gaming that nobody ever focuses on the multiplayer anymore. What I mean by the multiplayer is your local multiplayer. No one ever pays attention anymore to your local multiplayer. I love playing online games because, like I said, it keeps me in touch with my family, mainly my dad, and it keeps me in touch with friends that I can't have over every day because I'm busy and things like that but they focus so much anymore on games that are online that they don't hardly make any local multiplayer games for when my friends do get a chance to come over I mean what happened to the good old days like Nintendo 64 for example or Dreamcast they had games on there that you could hook four controllers with and play with four players in one room um you know I mean I'm looking right now I'm looking at my game collection and probably at least eighty percent of the games that I own are either single player or if they require online uh, or if they play online, they're online only games. Now the latest game they did come out with, which you can play locally, which I, I love this game. And actually it's more than one game. It's actually a bunch of games. And that is uh, Rare Replay. A highly recommended game. You should definitely get it. And I will probably do a review on it soon because just like this right here, I want to try to do some new things. And that is a game I'm considering reviewing, doing a game review on. So I'll give you a review on that. I won't but get to, into too much detail about that right now. But anyway, what I'm saying is that they, they finally got this game that we can play a bunch of old games on multiplayer with together. Now, there are so many games anymore that, you know, I would love to see. Okay, um... Grand Theft Auto, for example. Now, I know a lot of you are probably sitting there thinking, Grand Theft Auto, that's never been a multiplayer game. Well, actually, you are wrong about that. There is one instance, and I don't know if many people know about this. There's uh, quite a few that do and quite a few don't. 
Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. They go and there's a part not down much further from CJ's house. You can walk down there and um, you can get uh, a certain area behind these houses. Maybe sometime I'll show you a video about it. Anyway, you can go to this certain area not too far from CJ's house and a player on a second controller can push start and you can actually roam the whole city together. Now, you do have to stay in the same screen. You have to stay in the same screen. You can't venture off and do split screen or anything like that. But it made for an experience one of a kind of its own. But what I think would be awesome if they made like a Grand Theft Auto game and try that again, but try to do it a local split screen I mean the whole shebang I mean now as far as story wise that would be up to them if they want you, want you to do the story but I'm just saying freely explore the whole land of Grand Theft Auto doing what you want causing chaos holding up stores stealing cars imagine doing all that in a split screen environment where one player is doing what they want and the other play I mean whether you want to be a team or not that would be something phenomenal I would love and they don't hardly have anything like that I mean and I think of Rockstar if you're listening Rockstar would be something amazing that you could really do to up the experience for the player or players in this case and do something completely totally new and different don't be like another Call of Duty and repeat the same thing every year with a new surface. It would give you it would give us as gamers a whole new breath of life. But anyway, I mean am I the only one feeling this way or are you guys is, is any of you guys feel the way that I do that this is this multiplayer couch multiplayer sitting with your friends on a couch playing on the same console together is this just me or does it seem like this genre of gaming is dying I, I have a feeling and a fear that maybe in the future that this will become a thing of the past and everything will go online I hope and pray that that never happens but at the same time the future is looking kind of bleak but I mean, like I said, we got all these games coming out, and at least 80% of them are online-only games. Now, there have been a good couple of games that are couch multiplayer games that I have played here recently that have been good. One being Rare Replay, um, another being uh, WWE 2K16, which I think is a huge upbring from 2K15, but you know, uh, Forza, they actually did multiplayer with Forza, which is actually pretty good, um, but, I mean, they got so many games anymore that just focus solely on the multiplayer experience that couch multiplayer is becoming a thing of the past, and I hope something changes let me know down in the comments or anything you know if you guys basically someone let me know am I the only one feeling this way or is there others out there like me feeling this way about couch multiplayer I mean I'm I, you know there's a lot of times where when I have friends over um, I hook up my old systems like my old Dreamcast, Nintendo 64, um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I hook up the old systems, and the reason being is that because there's so many multiplayer games that I can sit in my, the same room and play with my friends on the same console, I would be playing more games on my newer system, like my Xbox One, if there was more games to play multiplayer with. But that's just the problem that there's not enough games like that anymore that it's becoming a dying genre um, 
anyway, this is um, basically my topic for the day. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments if I'm alone on this or if other people are thinking the same way. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to. Um, more videos coming your way, and like I said, I don't. I'm not exactly gonna pump them out left and right because I can't really afford to do that. But I'm hoping that to get more out. Definitely after Christmas, they might start coming out a little faster, but right now it's kind of hard, and I was didn't even know if I was going to be able to get this video out to you guys. But anyway, that's the topic for today. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, I will catch you in the next video, and game on, guys. Wolfpack out.